After spending thousands of hours in the operating room and training dozens of doctors along the way, Dr. Gregory Wyatt wanted to do more. Showing young doctors a technique is good, but it's not giving them the whole experience. After all, surgeons are not only using their eyes, but we're also using a fair amount of information from the touch, or what we call haptic feedback. Uh, and that's a very important aspect of, of what we use as far as our senses are concerned in surgery. So in order to give them a feel for what it's like, Dr. Wyatt of Nationwide Children's Hospital is training surgeons with this. It's a state-of-the-art program developed with Ohio Supercomputer Center that can do everything from mimic the movement of the drill to the density of the bone. Virtual patients can even bleed, and it can give students lifelike demonstrations before ever turning over the knife. It's fantastic. It'll, it'll sort of drill everything away for you, let you see the structure you're looking at, and then you can go back to a, a whole bone and, and drill down to that structure yourself. For a generation of surgeons who grew up on video games, it seems like a logical fit. Although researchers are quick to point out that it's not just cool technology, it's designed to be much more. We want to actually see that it does trans, uh, transfer into learning uh, and transfer into uh, better outcomes uh, eventually for our patients. To do that, Wyatt plans to begin studies soon at hospitals around the country to see who does better. Students who only learn surgery on this part of the skull using traditional methods or those who also make use of technology so many of them grew up with. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting. It's a little bit pinker up here.